Despite millions of people worldwide who are diagnosed with Alzheimer's, many don't understand the complexities of the disease or the history behind its discovery. Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia, an umbrella term that refers to a collection of symptoms, including memory loss and cognitive impairment and behavior changes. More than 55 million people worldwide have dementia. Alzheimer's disease makes up nearly 70% of all cases, with old age being the greatest risk factor in developing Alzheimer's, though genetic components can lead to early onset. But to truly understand this disease, we have to go back to when it was discovered. The first case of Alzheimer's disease dates back to the turn of the 20th century when Dr. Aloise Alzheimer came across Auguste Detter, a 51-year-old struggling with sudden memory issues and aggressive, irrational behavior. After Detter's death, Alzheimer's examined her brain and found it had a strange collection of molecular pileups. In a twist of fate, Alzheimer's findings were lost until 1995 when they were rediscovered and published in a translated version. Scientists now know these pileups are created by two distinct molecular formations, plaques and tangles. Now both of these issues within the brain are fairly complex. Imagine plaques as clumps within your brain made of a sticky substance called amyloid beta peptide or A-beta. As more of these clumps appear and stick to one another, they prevent the neurons in the brain from functioning properly, leading to impaired thinking and memory recall. Misfolded proteins called tau tangles act in a similar way. Tau proteins are small cellular strands that help neurons function. In the brains of Alzheimer's patients, these strands stick together into so-called tangles inside neurons and inhibit the healthy function of the brain. It is unknown which molecule, plaques, or tangles, or both, or something else is the primary driver of Alzheimer's. As neurons lose their ability to communicate and die off, the brain shrinks. This shrinkage starts in the hippocampus, a part of the brain associated with memory and learning, and leads to impaired memory, communication, and decision making. Historically, Alzheimer's disease could only be diagnosed for certain once a person's brain was analyzed after death. Currently, there's no cure for Alzheimer's, and there's no single test to detect it. Patients are now able to receive a diagnosis through medical examinations including neuropsychological testing, brain imaging, and blood tests, the latter of which may assist with early diagnosis. Treatments tend to focus on slowing the formation of or breaking up plaques or tangles. Some treatments have been shown to modestly slow the progression of symptoms, but none have halted or reversed the disease. The most successful to date, Donanomad, slowed disease progression by 35%. The pursuit of understanding Alzheimer's continues, with the hope that one day, experts will not only comprehend the intricacies of Alzheimer's, but also find a cure for it.